Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Nikki with Montana Crochet Creations. In today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make this cute drink coaster right here. I love it. I think it's in the shape of a watermelon and I definitely need it considering it is still snowing right here in Montana. We're coming up on the beginning of April. I mean, Easter is next weekend and we have about five feet of snow on the ground. Um, and I think that's the same case with a lot of people in the country. So I know we all need a little bit of summertime vibes in our life. So you'll need a few things for this um, drink coaster right here. First, you're gonna need some cotton yarn. And I suggest using cotton yarn because it's going to absorb any moisture from your glass. So I am using red, a little scrap bit of white, and then some scrap yarn in green, and then in black as well. I really like the, um, I love this yarn, the cotton yarn from Hobby Lobby, so that's what I'm using today. You're also gonna need a pair of craft scissors for clipping your yarn tails. We're going to use a five millimeter crochet hook and we will need a yarn needle for weaving in our yarn tails and creating our little seeds for this watermelon drink coaster right here. So go ahead and grab all of your supplies and I'll meet you back here in just a few minutes and we'll get started on this right, drink let's coaster. Let's get started on this drink coaster here. So I'm gonna start for round one with a magic circle, holding my yarn between my thumb and my middle finger here. Wrapping around my finger, and I'm grabbing my crochet hook and going underneath that very bottom piece of yarn. I'm grabbing my working yarn and pulling through, making sure you twist as you pull that through. I'm going to grab my working yarn again and just go through that loop. We've now created the beginning portion of our magic circle. We're going to put 12 half double crochet inside this circle. So we're yarning over and inserting our hook into that circle and drawing up our loop. We now have three loops on our hook right now. So we're gonna yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. We're going to do that 11 more times. So there's two, maybe. This is how my day is gonna start. And now we've got three. Okay, this is 10. And then we have 11, so we've got one more for a total of 12. So that was 11 additional half double crochet. So what we'll do next is we're going to pull this tail right here nice and tight, and that is going to close up our magic circle. We're gonna come over to our first half double crochet, not that chain one. That chain one does not count as a stitch. And then we are going to slip stitch, and we're going to Chain one again. For round two, we're going to place two half double crochet in this chain one space right here. Because again, remember that half double, that chain one does not count as your first stitch. So there's one, we're going back into that same space and placing another half double crochet. And now we're gonna place two half double crochet in every single stitch all the way around. So my very last stitch, we're going to come over, slip stitch to that first half double crochet, and we're going to chain one here. For row three, we are going to place two half double crochet in this chain one space right here. There's one and two. And then now we're going to place one half double crochet in this next stitch and then two half double crochet in the next stitch right here. So that is going to be our repeat pattern. Two half double crochet in the first stitch, one half double crochet in the next. So go ahead and continue repeating that all the way around. Um, when you get back to the beginning, you're still going to chain or slip stitch to the top of that first half double crochet and then chain one. So go ahead and finish round three and I'll meet you back here in just a few minutes. All right, for round four, we're going to place two half double crochet in this chain one space right here. And then we're going to half double crochet in one half double crochet in the next two stitches. So there's one and two. And we're gonna place two half double crochet in this next stitch. And that is our repeat pattern for this round. So two half double crochet in the first stitch, 
one half double crochet in each of the next two stitches. At the end of this round, we are not um, going to completely fasten off. We're actually going to join our white yarn before we fasten off. And then I'll show you how I like to do that. So go ahead and continue working this all the way around. And then I'll meet you back here when we're done with round four and then we'll switch over to our white yarn. So I'm at the end of round four and I haven't completely finished going into, so I'm gonna go over here and into my um, first half double crochet and I'm going to grab my white yarn and I'm just going to pull that through and then I am going to chain one. What I like to do, and you don't have to do this, is I like to take my two pieces of yarn here and tie it in a knot so that way it stays nice and secure and then I can crochet over my yarn tails here so then I don't have anything to weave in, to, weave in at the end. So what we're going to do now is we're going to place a single crochet in this chain one space that we just attached our white yarn to. And then we're gonna go back in and place one more single crochet. So this, where we attached does not count as a stitch. So now we have our two single crochet. Now we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. So we've got one, two, three. And then we're going to place two single crochet in this next stitch right here. And then we're going to single crochet in the next three stitches. So that is our repeat pattern for this round right here for round five. And at the end of this round, we are going to go ahead and switch to our green yarn and then fasten off our white. And then uh, we'll just continue with our outline of our green in the same fashion that we're doing the white. But I will meet you back here in a few minutes when we get back to the beginning of the white and we'll switch to our green. All right, so I'm back over to the beginning and I'm going to clip my white yarn off right here. Get that out of the way. And now I have my green yarn. So we're starting the rind now of this um, watermelon coaster. And I think this is gonna be a really cute summertime drink coaster. So come over to that first single crochet right here. We're just going to do the same thing. We're grabbing our green yarn, to grab our green yarn and pull that through. And then we are just going to chain one. I'm gonna do the same thing where I'm going to tie these two together in a knot. And then I am going to crochet over my yarn tails. So the only thing I have to weave in at the end is that little yarn tail from the magic circle in the very beginning. So go ahead and do that. Now for round six, all we're going to do is place a single crochet in that chain one, because remember that does not count. And then we are just going to single crochet in every single stitch all the way around this drink coaster. So go ahead and continue doing that, making sure you crochet over these yarn tails here. And when you get back to the beginning, you're going to slip stitch to the top of that first single crochet and we are actually going to fasten off our yarn tail and then we will weave in the green yarn that's left as well. So go ahead and finish that and I'll meet you back here in a few minutes and we'll get started on the little black seeds for this drink coaster. All right, so this is what our drink coaster looks like so far. And um, it's a little larger than most drink coasters are, but we usually, um, when we have a drink, we usually have at least a pint glass. And I like it to be a little sturdy on there. So this drink coaster measures about five and a quarter inches wide. If you don't want yours quite so wide, you can just omit this last row of red or pink, whatever color you're using, and then go from there. And then that should drop it down to about four and three quarters of an inch wide. Um, or around in diameter. So what I have now is I've got my black yarn and I've just got it threaded onto my yarn needle. And we're gonna go in and we're just gonna make the little seeds on this drink coaster. And if you look at the inside of a watermelon, you notice that the seeds are just kind of like sporadically placed all over the place. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm just going to go in here and just place random little seeds all over this coaster. But what I'm doing is, I'm going from the back 
to the front here and creating a little seed just like this. Pull that. And then I'm coming over. I'm going to tie it in a knot and then these little seeds will get, um, the tails will get woven in at the end. Sorry, I'm obviously having word issues today, but let me get this out of there. I grabbed that yarn on mistake, on accident. There we go. So now I'm going to tie this in a knot and then I'll clip it and then I'm gonna go back and weave these yarn tails in. Don't tie it too tight because you don't want your black seed to kind of disappear. And just randomly place your seeds throughout the whole entire front of your um, watermelon coaster here and then do as many as you want. I'm probably going to do, I don't know, maybe eight or 10 different seeds. Um, and then if you want them to be a little more, to stand out a little bit more than that, then go back over the top of that. It'll make them a little bit thicker. So go ahead and get all of your little seeds attached and placed wherever you want them. And then I'll meet you back here in just right. a few So minutes. I went in and I wove in all of my yarn tails here on the back of this drink coaster. And if you don't want to have the ugly side of yours visible, by all means, go ahead and make one more of these. And then all you need to do is just um, place them, the two wrong sides together, and then you can just stitch them together. And then you'll have a drink coaster that looks exactly the same on both sides. I don't really care about the ugly side of this drink coaster. Um, and it, whoever comes over to my house won't really care either. So I'm not going to worry about it. Um, but that is another option if you want it to be a little more pretty um, on this back side right here. So that is it. I hope you guys all enjoyed making this drink coaster as much as I did. Make sure that you guys like, comment, and share this video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell as I post tutorials right here on my channel every single week. I love you guys all so very much and I will see you in my next video.